snowy day in April. So what are you gonna do? Bullet testing. Welcome to the Yukon and North 61. Look at all that quality organic meat. To get meat of this quality, you need an instant kill. So what gives you an instant kill? So this is a rifle I haven't actually taken any game with. So this is my 307 Winchester. I believe it should be really, really good. I've taken a lot of uh, game with the 308 Winchester. I've taken a little bit of game with the 3030. And this is uh, closer to a 308 than a 307. But one of the things that I think you need to do to guarantee yourself uh, quick kills of an animal, which I think is our ethical duty, is you need to test for accuracy, get a good accurate load that's repeatable, and you also need to take a look to see what are the bullets going to do when they hit something. So. I've, uh, I think I'm ready to take this rifle out now. Going to start with three 170 grain uh, bullets, uh, Sierra, Winchester power points, and uh, the Spear uh, 170 flat points, all going around 2,400 feet per second. Okay, we'll find the That is the Sierra. Uh There's the wind wound channel of the Sierra versus the uh, spear in wet newsprint. Uh, both pretty good. Okay, that's the woodlay. So 160 grain flex tip did pretty well. So terminal ballistics is something I don't think people spend enough time on. So here's uh, what we learned today with our bullets. First up, there's the 150 Hornaday. So the 150 Hornaday hit at 2,600 feet per second, penetrated 12 inches. Pick McPherson, when taken down to 2,265, it uh, penetrated 14.68 inches. And you'll find that, that uh, slower speeds uh, bullet will often penetrate a little more. Still had a retained weight of 86%, which is quite amazing, and it expanded well. And there is a close-up of the 150 Hornaday round nose. And you can see the expanded bullet right next. So it's designed for pretty high velocities and it kept together really well at 2600 feet per second. So that's bullet one. So bullet two is the 150 grain Woodley. And the Woodley is a bonded core bullet. It was going 2600 feet per second. It penetrated an inch less than the 150 Hornaday. However, it held on to more weight, 92%. And it expanded better. That's just probably why it didn't penetrate well. And there it is. Look at that little beauty. So it's very flat. And it really expands well. And that's a, that holds together like peanut butter to the roof of your mouth. Because it's bonded with the Woodlay Bond Core. So that's the Woodlay. Really good 150 grain bullet. Bullet 2. Check out that group. That's a 1.1 inch four shot group. And that's Hornaday factory ammo with the 160 grain flux tip. So let's take a look at it. Terminal ballistics. It goes about 2,550 feet per second, penetrated 11 and a half inches, held on to 63% of its weight, and 
expanded. There it is. So there's the bullet. You can see that long shank that it has. And it doesn't expand super well, but it made a really nice uh, trauma in our wet newsprint. That's a good bullet. Uh, that's bullet three. So the 170 PowerPoint, pretty nice bullet. Uh, 2400 feet per second. It penetrated a little less. Um, core separated. Um, almost twice di twice diameter as far as expansion. Um, and it still penetrated decently. Made really nice holes in the target at, or at the close range. So that's a lot of pop in that load, but it's not for anything bigger than a deer. 170 spear, I was expecting more from. Penetrated a little better. Uh, core separated once, uh, didn't the other time. Um, 60 caliber expander, so it's near, near a double expansion as well. And there it is. You can see one core separation and one where it hung together. And it's got a good ballistic coefficient of 0.398. So that point, or 0.298, that 0.29 8 ballistic coefficient means it hangs on to its speed pretty well. But it wasn't particularly accurate in my rifle. Now this one is accurate, the 170 Sierra. It also penetrated well, 12 inches. Core separated, but it was together when I saw it. I just, it kind of fell apart after I picked it up and started playing with it. Um, so it hung on to about 119 grains. Um, so that's that. Hard core, fairly brittle jacket. Um, penetrates well, but once it's past that cantilever, anything can happen. And the homemade 193.5s, which is basically a 200 grain spear bullet, put in my lathe, flattened and cantilevered. It won this test for penetration. Uh, probably the least impressive expansion, but it still went 1.7 times. Hung on to 87%. That might be a real good moose to uh, bear round. So I'll, I'll test that a little more. It also shoots not so bad. Uh, I don't know if I said this, but the Sierra just before is a real good shooter. Thanks for watching and subscribe.